pack rats. Let's go to the next nemesis. <laughs> I've caught nine pack rats, three voles, which is a field mouse, and a chipmunk all this winter. They're attracted to the water I have because I'm a bird gardener. I love birds, so I'm attracted to the birds, which means you get everything else too, not just birds. So coming in for that, I also top dress. I don't like rock. It's so unnatural and sterile. I have shredded bark, compost, all over the gardens. It's like a mecca for birds. I'm after birds. Okay, coming to peck around. Well, also, the chipmunks and the pack rats, they love to get the shredded bark and they harvest it and they take it and they make stuff out of it. I'm also in the scrub area, so I've got pinion pines, emery oaks, scrub, uh, the uh, scrub oak. I've got all those. This is where that particular critter lives. Uh, if you've got rock piles, very often they're bound down the rock piles, or ground squirrels are down there. Uh, so they're, they're coming in and they, they are mischievous. They get into the, uh, into the built-in grill. They get into the bin where I store all my cushions for the furniture. I mean, they're nasty little critters. They eat your hot tub. I've got literally fit holes in the fence where you can see them coming through. I had a Facebook post last year, last summer. I put two traps on either side of this hole and had uh, and had fruit on it. And the caption was, I have you now. <laughs> and I did, I got it. So it's, it's uh, what I've done for myself. Um, this is how I deal with it. There's a lot of different ways you can live trap. I've got traps that you can trap the rats or the ground squirrels. They're kind of the same, they're just kind of similar. But then you gotta deal with the carcass. You gotta deal with something. If you've got enemies, like across the neighborhood, you can release them in, that's good. But if you don't, if like everyone's your friend, this is kind of a, this is a hard, I don't know, I just find, anyway, I've gone this route. This is a great, they actually rethought the rat trap. This is brilliant. Um, they've got a little door up here where you can actually put the peanut butter is what I use. Um, I'll put a little, in this little town of, uh, it's got a little cup there. I put peanut butter in there. It's irresistible. They can't, they, they love peanut butter. In fact, I really give them a beat. If it's going to be a last meal, I'll put little cashews in there. <laughs> and I'll just put peanut butter kind of nuts. And I go here, and I'll sprinkle a couple of them out. Going, come to me, come. And then when I've got all my bait in there, I just close it up. It's real easy to set. You just open it and it's set. Um, very, very effective. Uh, I do, the other thing I can tell you, make sure you take a string or something, tie this to something. Because pack rats travel in packs. They're not long, they're, they're, they're groups of whole families. Um, and if I, I tie it on a, a piece of rebar or two by four or something like that, a short piece, just so I can identify where is it. And then uh, I'm using wire anymore because the other rats would try to free them by gnawing through the, the string I had, all kinds of crazies. Mayhem was happening. So just again, school hard knocks, use a piece of wire and tie it to something or this can disappear because coyotes are after snacks, barn cats, so you just have things will be very attractive to that um, dead rat. So I, I, I find I, I can trap mice with this. It's sensitive enough. Now sometimes little babies, they get in, they eat all your peanut butter and they don't set it off. But eventually I'll get you. Keep coming back to Papa. Come on back. I'll get you. So eventually they set it off. They get big enough where they set it off. That's just this year. You need to kill off these rats and, and squirrels off to a certain level, you'll finally get to a halo effect. You kind of have this radius where they're not there. They're over in your neighbors, not here. So you need to get to that point, and there's more than one. You've got many, and they're very destructive. They can get up into your attic. We had to rewire my grandmother's attic because the rats got up in the attic, stripped the wires of their insulation, and there's no way around that. You have to actually, they'll do that to your RV sitting out there. They'll get in and strip the wires underneath that harness. They're very mischievous. Um, they do like, um, you'll see a, inside the oaks, some of the scrub areas, you see this big wood sticky nest thing. That's a pack rat. That's, where they're, that's their natural habitat. If you take those apart, you'll find a little bird nest. Literally looks like a bird nest. Three or four of them underneath all that pile of wood. I actually like to know my, my nemesis. I like to understand how they think, so I actually dissect their homes and figure it out. I dug up a gopher run, every single run. I didn't have anything to do that day. 
I actually dug up the tunnel network and just see where they were going and what was going on with them. So I understand, why am I not hitting them every time? Why don't I get them every time? So anyway, that's pack rats, ground squirrels. Ground squirrels, you might be a little more humane. They're so cute. Chipmunks, they're cute, painted faces. But if you're in my gardens, <laughs> you're in trouble. Unless you're going over, there's a demarcation line. Over there, you're free to, to live your life. As soon as you come over this line, it's mine. This is my space. Yes. Oh, that's good. Does it fry them? So you've got electronic traps, and it just electrocutes them right there. <laughs> Nice, I like that. Is there smoke? Because that would make it better. Is it like fur burning up? That would be really good. Oh. <laughs> so she's got an electronic trap. I think any kind of trap will work. Just you need to be able to woo them in. Uh, my neighbors have an apricot tree. They love the apricots. Last year's a heart, big harvest. So when they're eating apricots, I put apricots in the trap. Whatever you happen to be going for, I'm here for you. So I kind of give them what they want. In the winter, they seem to really like nuts. So peanut butter, any kind of nuts, a really good way to go. Yeah. 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 Oh, really? Oh, really? Oh, brilliant. So he, he actually, he put grass in the peanut butter. So they can't just lift it. They got to actually work to get. So the grass, when it finally went off, he caught two. You are the master. <laughs> that's, a, that's really impressive. I've never caught two. I've only caught one. This is after they ate the fuel line in the RV. Yeah, so I'm telling you, they're mischievous. They love those nooks and crannies. They love hot tubs because it's warm. They love that built-in grill because there's maybe a leftover or two. Who knows what's in there? So, okay, that's that's that particular deal. The uh, pack rats. Do you recommend tearing their nest apart? Uh, so pack rats. Do you tear their nest apart? Uh, if it's if it's some place where it's ugly, I do that just because it's in my roses. So I had a, I had a Cecil Bruner roses, big climbing roses. They put a nest in the middle of it. Well, it was disease ridden. It was just was not good for the landscape. I tore that one off. And that's why I know how many nests are in there. If it's just out there and it's not bothering anything, and I know you're dead, I'll probably leave it. I don't know if they're attracted to other people's nests. So is it a free home? You took out the one guy, now the new pack rat comes and moves in. I don't know how that works. I know gophers will do that. Gophers are the laziest doggone things around. They'll, if you kill off one, another gopher will come in and move into that network just like that. Pack rats do come back. Do they? I killed 28 of them in one fall. So. Wow! You are the queen. <laughs> My goodness, 28! I'm impressed! Wow! Well, Yeah. And I was taking them down the road about four miles and leaving them off. Yeah. And the next day I yeah. catch more. So my husband said, Are you sure you're not just catching the same? Yeah. So I painted them. Yeah. After <laughs> that over yeah, that's, and, and this it is took good. a day, about a day to go four miles yeah. past, past several other people's houses yeah. to get them back to my house. Yeah, it's so she was live trapping them and then releasing them like just a couple few miles down the road. And uh, they, they do come back. They know, I don't know how they do it. Skunks will do that. I had a buddy that was catching skunks like crazy. who spray painted their back. And sure enough, that thing was right back at them. So release them far away, another neighborhood. You know, take them to Flagstaff. <laughs> Trip down the horse trough. Something, get them out of there. Don't, don't let them stay around, because they do come back. Oh, yeah. Yeah.